Hey everyone, DJ Unier here again with some more irritating blather. You'll be thrilled to hear that Alina is not with me today. She's probably still talking about stuff, whatever it was she was talking about. We just cut her mic off when we'd had enough. But even better news, we finally managed to get a hold of Eric who had randomly wandered within range of a cell tower and he joins me here today to explain to us all why he wasn't at Devil's Tower like he was supposed to be. In fact, Wyoming Search and Rescue have sent me a bill for costs because I supposedly wasted their time. So thanks, Eric. Of course, we've also all been in court today to show like support or solidarity or I'm not sure, maybe just awareness of daddy's ongoing criminal trial. Alina Haba was there still talking. I don't know if she actually stopped at any point. And I was there because, you know, got to show up for that big final day. Tiffany came along because... Actually, I don't know why Tiffany was there. Maybe it was a publicity thing or something. Lara, Eric's wife, was there too, trying to drum up some donations for the Trump National, uh, I mean, RNC. And eagle-eyed viewers might have thought they saw Eric there. Actually, that was a life-sized inflatable ventriloquist's dummy of Eric that I had made, especially for an event like this. You might have seen Eric say a few words to the press during lunch break. Now, I don't want to brag, but I've actually gotten really good at my Eric impression, and at throwing my voice. In fact, even Lara was convinced it was him. Here, check this out. Hi, my name's Eric, and I just love to play with my choo-choo train. I'm not allowed to play with crayons anymore because of that one time when I got a whole pack of them stuck in my sinuses and I had to go to the wasp piddle. Huh? Not bad, right? Uh, well, it was good enough to fool the media, which is a pretty low bar given how easy it was to fool them into following dad so closely all these years. Anyway, speaking of Eric, we should really check in on him, see how he's getting on, maybe even work out where he is. Let's give it a go, Eric. Eric, are you there, Eric? Yeah, hi, I'm here, Don Don. Hey there, little buddy, long time no speak. So what happened to you? What happened to sitting in a clearing and waiting for the chopper? Not, well, I, was, I, I got scared. You got scared? Of the chopper. Of the chopper. Uh, well, okay, here's the thing. You said to wait for the chopper, so I found myself a nice clearing uh, to sit in, like you said. But the longer I waited, the more I, the more I started to get worried about this chopper. And I kind of imagined a big bearded man in a lumberjack shirt running at me with an axe. You do realize that chopper is just another word for helicopter, right? Well, see, I thought that's what you meant. But then I thought you might mean a motorbike, but I can't ride a motorbike. So then, well, then I started thinking about the lumberjack. Well, what's done is done, I guess. So, can you tell me where you are now? Oh, uh, well, that's, that's the good news. I made it back to New York. You're back in New York? That's great. Well, I, but everything's different. Different? How? Well, the streets are all laid out differently, and, and it's, like, really hot and, and dusty. Uh, could you do a quick 360 and tell me what you see? Uh, uh, yeah, sure, okay. Okay, I'm here in New York. There's the Statue of Liberty. Oh. And I'm turning, I'm turning in. Oh, wait, I'm in Paris. Oh. Yeah, I think that's the Eiffel Tower. And I'm turning, I'm turning, and what the, I can't, uh, I'm in Egypt now. Oh. The, that's the, uh, the pyramid and, and the sphincter. Uh, yeah, I don't think you're in New York. No, I think you're in Vegas. Uh, Vegas? Shit. You know, I, that's why I couldn't find the courthouse. So, uh, so tell me, uh, how did it go today? Or... Uh, I think it went really well. Really well? That's great. For the prosecution. Uh, was, oh, shit, I didn't. Dad was so pissed he didn't even talk to the press afterwards, and... He didn't talk to the press? Oh my god, like... I know, right? Todd Blanche just sort of hovered around looking like Sam the American Eagle, and since that's the face he makes when Dad's talking, I think that's bad. Did anyone talk to the press? Yeah, we all talked to the press uh, during lunch break. All of us? Even me? Yes, even you. You made quite the stirring speech, in fact. And Lara did a bit of grifting. Who did some grifting? Lara. Uh, your wife? Oh, right, her. I remember now. Yeah. And I acted all indignant, even managed to get my eyes all watery. I just rubbed my cologne into them, and bam, instant tears. Did anyone notice that I wasn't there, or that the me there wasn't uh, me, or was it? No. Nobody suspected a thing the dummy held up better than you would have. You know, oh, thanks, Don Don. Don't thank me, baby bro. Thank lifesizedummiesforyou.com. I even used a coupon code and got free shipping. Anywho, since you're in Vegas, why don't you head on over to the Palms and I'll wire you some money. I'll explain everything to them and you can just pick up your chips and go play craps for a while. But for God's sake, don't leave the table until one of my guys meets you. Even after I've lost everything? Yes, 
Even if you completely run out of money, just stay at the table. Okay, Don, and where am I going? The palms? You can find your way to the palms, can't you? Yep. Good, so repeat it back to me. Where are you going? The palms. Good, great. I'll talk to you later then. Hey, uh, okay, Don, Don, I'll see you soon. Goodbye, Eric. Remember, the palms... Oh, good lord, that kid is a nightmare. Hopefully we'll have him back here in the next couple of days, but right now I've got to take a quick PP break. When I get back, I'll be holding a telephone vote. The shame of a guilty verdict means that I'll probably have to change my name. I've got a few options lined up, but I can't decide, so I'm going to let you decide for me. I'm thinking it should be something unique, something that stands out, something that just screams Don Jr., but without using that particular name. So, uh, what do you think? Do I go for Methuselah Stanshaw? Or how about Beardy McChinless? Frankfurt von Stubenstein? Or do I go for a one-word name like Cher or Prince? I'm thinking Jawhide. Dial the number on the screen and place your vote today. Get out of my way, everyone. The PP train is coming through. Oh, go to, 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 go to,